They burst onto the wildlife imagery scene like a raging eagle fire. Five unknowns from Londa Losey would become photographic superstars, producing weekly pictures that would stun and inspire the world. If you're getting photos like these guys, you're bound to start turning some heads. It's a drive that gets you up in the morning. Not the fame or the woman or the money. There's no fame, there's no woman, and there's no money. It's all about the photograph, nothing else matters. It's a dream of that, that perfect moment enshrined in time. You know it, and you did that. But behind the artistry lay a competitive edge that would drive the group to extremes. Rivalries and heartbreaks, and a quest to deliver something beautiful into the world. For these five young people, life would never be the same. Mike, is that a leopard in that tree? This is the story of a picture book that, that got some followers. This is Behind the Weekend Pictures. Getting the shot isn't always easy, but for some of the team, the lengths they would go to were extreme. I'll do whatever it takes to get the shot. Um, I have to say I have a bit of an advantage over the other photographers in that I have a, a, a ranger driver that does exactly what I tell her to do. Yeah, he can be a bit pushy at times. Tally, move forward. Tally, back. No, no, no. Wrong place. No. Tally. Tally, what do I put this setting on? It drove me crazy. The lengths people were going to to get their shots it was just crazy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not good enough. You fell on this. No. Over the weeks, months, and years, the team was on a roller coaster of emotion. James, have a look at this. This is honestly the greatest photograph of my life. It's good, but did you mean to cut the tail off? We did it because we loved it. But we loved it so much it made us crazy. To get the shot, you have to remain ice cold. That's David Dampier. They call him Ice Man. That's how he rolls. Ice cold. I just really don't know what all the fuss is about. The fame came with untold challenges. Not only emotional, but also physical. Addiction set in. For some members of the team, the load got too much. Everybody wants to I was addicted to it. There was no doubt in my mind that I had to go out with 600 F4 every day. The problem for me was access to different groupies. Canon, Nikon, Sony, F5, F4, F2.8. I mean, I used a different body every single afternoon. I started cheating on my Wimbley arm with my beanbag. I started cheating on my beanbag with my girlfriend. We just chose to live in denial. As the likes grew and the comments rolled in, egos began to flare. Sometimes as many as five likes for an image. Once we started sharing, we just kind of blew up. Yeah, it's tough being number one in a male-dominated industry. I mean, you would go out of the reserve and although there weren't actually people following you around, you got the feeling that someone somewhere in certain niche groups might actually know who you are. Yeah, it was really tough to deal with. You know, there were, there were comments, likes, retweets, it meant nothing to me. Yet despite all the hard lessons learned, this period was still a critical punctuation mark in the history of wildlife photography on the internet. And in the end, the pictures spoke for themselves.